Hello, and welcome to Global One Media. Joining me today is Garrett Ainsworth, the President, CEO, and Director of District Metals, an exploration and development company currently managing several promising exploration assets in Sweden and British Columbia. District Metals is currently listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Hello, Garrett. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Monir. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So can you please give us a brief overview about yourself, the company, and its unique story? Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I'm a geologist by, by training. Uh, I transitioned uh, into the executive role um, through, you know, a discovery of uranium that I was uh, took a lead role in. Um, so I was VP Exploration for Alpha Minerals. Uh, and in 2012, um, we made the discovery of what's the triple R deposit in the southwest Athabasca, Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, and uh, it was a 50-50 JV with Fission Uranium. They bought our 50% ownership uh, in 2013 for $189 million. Um, You know, it was a great success, won, won an industry award for that. Uh, then I went on to NextGen Energy's VP Exploration and Development. Had a lot of success with the Aero Discovery and uh, making other discoveries, satellite deposits, um, and you know, won, won a couple more industry awards. Uh, I was there until 2018, and you know, it, it was transitioning towards uh, permitting and, and mine development, which is not really my passion, given that I'm an exploration geologist at uh, at heart. So I, I got a hold of a, a shell company with some strong founding shareholders, and uh, created District Metals. Uh, I went all around the globe looking for a, a project that really got me excited, and uh, and we landed in the uh, in the Bergslagen. Um, which is a world-class district, uh, you know, known for Bleedon's, uh Garpenberry mine, polymetallic, you know, good good grades of zinc and, and silver. Uh, Lundin Mining has the uh, zinc grooven mine uh, there as well. So we we picked up our flagship uh, Tom Tebow project in June of 2020. You know, we hit the ground running, did all sorts of uh, of um, pre-drilling work on it, uh, and. And you know, have done three drill programs with very successful results that uh, I can get into uh, in a little bit. Uh, but that that's basically you know my background leading into um, the development uh, of District Metals. That's quite a rich history. And you're currently managing several projects in Sweden. What can you tell us about those projects and their potential? Yeah, so we started with our flagship uh, property, Tom Tebow. Um, and uh, you know we like the Bergslagen so much and the potential there because uh, much of the district has not seen modern systematic exploration, and um, uh, you know this is really an advantage for us because we're using all the latest and greatest exploration tools um, on these advanced stage exploration projects. Um, so we picked up two more um, projects in in Bergslagen uh, late last year, but uh, with Tom Tebow, I mentioned we we have three drill programs that we've done there. We've drilled, you know, 38 holes uh, over uh, close to like 11,000 meters. Our, our latest drill hole, 38, um, had 25.5 meters of 8.2% zinc equivalent, you know, very strong intercept. Uh, and that's at our Steffenberg zone. Within that interval, there's actually 0 0.4 meters of a Bonanza grade gold of 284 grams per ton gold and 855 grams per ton silver. Uh, for the zinc equivalent calculation, we capped that at 10, uh, 10 grams per ton, or it would have made the, the zinc number off, off the charts. But uh, really shows that you know we've got not only polymetallic uh, potential, but you know good good gold precious metal content there as well. Um, so we're, you know, going to continue stepping out from that that uh, mineralized interval that's wide open at depth and partially along strike. And, uh, you know, our, another project that we picked up late last year was Groove Barriott. Um, It's about 40 kilometers away. Uh, it's again, it's got some historic mines on it. We, we did our maiden drill program uh, that we just finished up in June. We should have drill results out, out on that where we hit uh, polymetallic mineralization in four out of five holes. So yeah, really looking forward to getting those results out to the market in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, and then our third project is Svarjo, which is about 25 kilometers north of our Tom Tebow project. Uh, it's had some very substantial historic mining, you know, over a million tons uh, with grades that are higher than what you see being mined at uh, Bleedon's Garpenberry mine currently today. 
Um, so there's, uh, you know, some very significant geophysical anomalies that are coincident that, uh, you know, we'll be looking to follow up with the drill. All right. That sounds very promising. And I'm wondering, are there any synergies between all of those projects since they are in the same jurisdiction? Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, having three projects within 40 kilometers of each other uh, means that it's very easy and then all connected very well by roads, I should mention. Um, the infrastructure in the Bergslagen is amazing. Um, you know, you can move drill rigs and, and crews from one project to another, you know, within within an hour. So it's uh, it's very helpful that way. But I mean, we didn't select the projects so that we could be, you know, have have greater ease of logistics. <clears throat> we picked them because they're in the Bergslagen district and it's a world class district for polymetallic deposits. So, um, I mean, there's also synergies corporately and and like and like for permitting and, and whatnot as well. So it, it all kind of comes together quite nicely. That's really good. And what about the Bakker property in British Columbia? How much do you own of it today, and and how is it performing? Yeah, good good question. So the car property is um, the first property that we started out with in District Metals, and when we shifted into Sweden, we actually optioned eighty percent of Bakar to another company called Sherpa Two Holdings. So now we're in a joint venture with Sherpa, uh, whereby we have twenty percent, they have eighty percent. Uh, district remains the operator of it, but it's a very exciting, uh, so, you know, since the work that has been done since we optioned it, uh, we've developed a target called the EC target. It stands for the elephant crossing target. And uh, it's really a strong high priority target that we're, we're looking to drill um, quite soon. It's uh, It's got a coincident geophysical anomalies that uh, are about one and a half kilometers in strike. Uh, half a kilometer in width. The the conductive anomaly goes down uh, below 500 meters. And uh, very importantly, it has uh, outcrop. There's not a lot of outcrop uh, at this target zone. Most of the most of the area is covered in overburden, but there's um, you know an outcrop sample that returned 4.1 percent copper. So it's looking like a copper porphyry type target. It's never been tested before, but it's one of the best looking grassroots uh, exploration targets I've, I've come across in my career. All right. And to the investors hearing us today, what factors do you think will support your company's growth in the future? Are, they, are there any developments we should be looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, the, the next drill program, I mean, as catalyst for an exploration company, drilling is always one of the, one of the one of the biggest catalysts quite often and definitely in the case for district metals. So we'll be we'll be looking to get our drill permit hopefully in, in September for the Bacar property and then look to drill 800 meters in one or two holes come this October, November that we'll be operating. Um, if that geof if those conductive anomalies, geophysical targets that I was talking about are um, uh, related to economic mineralization, then our 20% holding uh, in that property is going to become very, very valuable. So that's uh, definitely an exciting drill program that we're looking forward to. Also, we're going to go back, switching gears to, to Sweden. Um, we'll be going back to our Tom Tebow property, uh, and we'll be looking to, um, you know, to drill underneath that interval of 25 and a half meters at 8.2% zinc equivalent. Um, and uh, and then also doing some further work at Groove Berry with soil sampling, you know, helping to really firm up some drill targets there. Uh, and then Svarjo, we've just got a whole heap of historical, um, you know, data that we're that we're sorting through now, and uh, we're actually able to do an internal resource off of that. So it's it's quite exciting how that's coming along. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of irons in the fire. All right, that's great news. Uh, all right, Garrett, thank you very much for joining us today and for the information. We look forward to seeing you again and for and to hearing the next updates from District Metals. Excellent, thanks very much, Monir.